time for another update and today uh, we're going to talk about uh, the process of grieving and uh, the reason being that that's kind of what I'm in right now and I can you know there are days when I'm up and I can talk about other things and there's days when it just really knocks me to my knees and today is the day I normally do videos, uh, the weekly video, so I thought, well, instead of struggling to try to be something that I'm not feeling right now, just kind of talk about where, you know, the process, and thought, well, how could that help people? Well, a lot of us are dealing with losses right now, whether it's a loss of a loved one, or it's a loss of a job, the loss of an income, the loss of uh, a home, children, it doesn't matter. We're all dealing with losses as we go through this intense emotional purging that we need to do before we reach 2012. And what I found is that, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm not one who does grieving very well. I usually, uh, you know, just stay busy. I When, when, when a lot loss occurs, I'll feel it for the moment and then I'll just kind of put it aside and get on with life. And I realize that that isn't something, that's not a luxury we have anymore because we're running out of time uh, to purge everything. And what's inside of us is all the things we didn't grieve, all the things that we didn't want to feel. And I now know why I didn't really want to grieve. I mean, it is a challenging uh, process. It is difficult. Uh, I'm usually an optimistic person and for me to go to go back to bed on a Monday morning and sleep for three hours because I'm just feeling numb, hopeless, whatever, you know, all the feelings that you feel when you're in the grieving process, uh, there's a part of me that's just like really shocked by that. And my inner child says, we will never get out of this. You know, we're going to die. This is going to kill us. Uh, you know, so she's flipping out. And it's, uh, it is not a comfortable process to go through. So, they say there are five steps to grieving. There's uh, uh, numbness or denial, um, anger, bargaining, uh depression and finally accepting and I found that we don't go through those things or I don't go through those things you know uh, chrono uh, one at a, I mean one at a time and just go okay I'm going to do this second this part first and this second this second I find that I go back and forth through them you know like I'm bargaining over things at times uh, and then at other times I'm accepting and when I'm accepting I still I start to feel like I'm coming out of it and then there are times when it'll just hit me again I'll wake up in the morning and I know that this is the day when I'm going to struggle when I'm emotionally fragile because when you're grieving your your heart is open and not just the loss or the pain of what you've lost comes up it's all that other stuff that you never dealt with starts to come out at the same time. It's like it's all right there at the door trying to come out. And at the same time, because you're feeling so much, you can pick up energies around you and it just seems to uh, intensify the feelings. So, I don't know where else to go with this, but just to say, you know, this is kind of the way it is. Oh, and while you're in this, you know, everything kind of comes to a halt if you're in a business for yourself because it's like the universe is giving you a chance to feel your feelings because if you're busy, you're not going to feel them. If everything was hunky-dory and things were rolling along really fast like they normally do and there's plenty out oh and I'm just really busy like I usually am, I would not be in this space. So everything's just come to a screeching halt which creates a trigger for more stuff to come up. Well, what if it never ends? Or, you know, what if I lose everything because I don't pay the bills? Blah, 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 blah. And on it goes, and on it goes. 
So I'm just letting you know, this is what grieving looks like. And uh, if you're there in that process, send me an email. We can commiserate. And uh, hopefully next week I'll be up and I'll have a positive message for you. Um, but I guess that's it. So I will talk to you next week. And Izzy back here. Back. Wait a minute. There. Back. Where is she? Right there. Right there. She seems to be handling it really well. I'm so glad I have her. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.